Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today's episode is pretty much the part two of the last video. So cleaning the intake was actually a really long task. So I'll show you the final result. And just before I show you, I'll show you this part here, just to show you guys how I clean them. If you think this is just a little quick cleanup, it's actually not, it takes a lot of time. I've removed all the gaskets and clean it all. So it was really a big job, but the results are always worth it. I know this filter is gonna be clean for a while since all the ducts are clean. If my memory is good, I'm pretty sure the bracket that was holding the filter uh, was missing two screws. Uh, this thing right here. So I'm pretty sure it was missing two screws. So I'm just gonna take two new bolts. Oh, I said screws since the beginning. Those are the two I have. So let's find out if I have some others. Good, so it turns out they're the same. They're just a little longer, so it should be fine though. So the last step tonight is actually to test the compression and check the ignition system. Just gonna go ahead and remove the plug. Like it's pretty funny because it's actually the same model. It's the same, same spark plug. So they weren't like uh, old at all. If you look at them, they don't have any like, uh, they're not yellowish. The, all of it is actually pretty good. I'm still gonna go ahead and change them, but I'm gonna keep the old ones as spares because they're in really good shape, so. So to test the ignition, it's gonna be really simple. I'm just gonna put my uh, spark plug inside the plug. And then I'll just ground it to the, to the engine right here and then see if there's some sparks. So this one actually works. And this side works too. So we're good to go. So before putting the spark plugs back in, we're actually gonna test the compression, make sure it has a good compression. So we have spark, we have air. Now all we're missing is the carburetor for the gas. And now the last thing to check is actually compression. So after that, there's only the carburetor left. All right, so let's test the compression. Hundred and seventy. Let's try another one. Hundred and eighty. Let's try another one. 175 let's say all right guys so final test for the right cylinder 130 140 140 so the final results are on the right cylinder, we have 140 PSI, and on the left side cylinder, we have 170. There's 30 PSI difference from the left to the right. I'm guessing for an engine that's a 2002, and it's probably never been rebuilt, because it's only 17,000 kilometers. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's it's fine. Like, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there's no problem with that, but, uh, it could be better, but uh, I don't think it needs a rebuild for now. Of course, I could have uh, added oil inside to see if it was actually like the, the rings or the valves that are leaking. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, it's probably the valve. So for now, I'll just let it like that. And if I drive it and see it, it like bugs and stuff, then I'll go back and adjust the valves. All right, guys. So that's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.